Jullie vindt namelijk dat men niet zo goed de bed earlier, because he says he's always falling asleep when he's watching us. No. <laughs> well. Ferrari keeps hanging out from the Germans don't believe us. Do you think they believe us? <laughs> um, it's a good question. Uh, hopefully uh, they do believe us, yeah. I mean, we'll give them a tough game again and I think after that they'll definitely believe us. Do you think Memphis Depay thought that the Gawa were too loud? Because he was always running away with his stingers in his hand. <laughs> in the stadium in Rotterdam with, um, I think there was possibly just around 4,000 Northern Ireland fans, but they were the ones you could hear in amongst the 50,000 uh, Netherlands fans. So. Yeah, we, we have to make sure that the noise here, which will be incredible again on Saturday, that uh, you know it, it's enough to put Memphis Depay and the rest of his teammates on. My favourite player is Stephen Davis. Who is yours? You put me in the spot there. You know, if the players see this, I'm in trouble. I think sometimes it's when you bring the newer players into the squad, you get a real sense of satisfaction. And one of those players, to be honest, has probably been Stuart Dallas, where. You know, since he's come into the team under me, he's never really been dropped. Uh, Josh McGuinness comes into that category as well. You know, Josh has uh, developed a lot in his time within the Northern Ireland squad and scored some important goals. But all the players are, are very important, and uh, I have to say that I kind of like them all. My granda said that you were a great player, Michael. Do you ever think of just playing yourself? <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. I wish I could still play. I love playing for Northern Ireland and I always possibly regret that I didn't get more caps than I did. I played at quite a young age, I was only 18 when I made my debut and you know there's no there's no substitute for playing and uh, but unfortunately my body's not up to it anymore but I, I would love to still be able to pull on the green shirt and play for Northern Ireland. Do you think Ronald Coleman needs to go to bed earlier? Because he says he's always falling asleep when he's watching us. <laughs> well, I thought his comments were a little bit uh, a little bit naughty, shall we say? But uh, at the end of the day, we don't. We don't if, if, if he wants to watch us to go to sleep, that's his his prerogative. Um, but I don't think, as I say, he'll not get an easy night here on uh, in Belfast. My mommy always gets mad at my dad when he says us qualifying for the Euros was the best day of his life. Was it yours too? <laughs> It was my best day of my life in football, there's no doubt about that, and the experience of, of going to France in, in Euro 2016 was, was memorable. Um, something that whets your appetite and you certainly want to repeat that and, and try and experience it again. Um, but I'd have to be honest and say, but I, think, I think my wife would be the same attitude as your mum, that possibly uh, the birth of my two daughters should possibly be the, the, the best day of my life. And I'm, so I'm I can see where your mum's coming from there. Michael, you went to school in Balmain. Everyone knows everyone there. Do you know my grandpa? He lives there. <laughs> well, it's not as small as you think, Balmain. You know, it's. Um, uh, I left Balmain 30 years ago, so I'm not sure how, how old is your grandpa. Well, I'm 66. 66. Okay. Well, he would have been a little bit older than me. So, unfortunately, I can't remember him <laughs> if I have bumped into him. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to go back to school. Can you tell us a joke before we go? Oh, tell you a joke? Oh, I'm, I'm rubbish at jokes. I tell you tell me a joke. Why didn't the dog want to play football? No idea. It was a boxer. <laughs> very good, very good. What, have you got one? What kind of tea do, uh, do football players drink? What kind of tea do football players drink? No idea. A penalty. <laughs> Are you still going to go into showbiz or use a double act? No. Don't be giving up your day job for stand-up comics, okay? You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, it was lovely to meet you guys. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.